Welcome, y'all, to a special edition of Smoke in the Bass Cigar Review. I am your boy. I am here at Bon V in Alameda Cigar and Wine Shop. I have a couple of guests with me. We're going to get into the review of a cigar shortly. Let me introduce you to my guests. To my right, Jake, the manager of Bon V. How you doing, my man? Good. 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 So? I'm doing really good, man, and I thank you for guys allowing me into your home to do a, a review on location for one of your cigars. Absolutely. More than welcome. Appreciate it. And to my far right, I also have a man that you may know at Ohlone Cigar Lounge as well, my boy Charlie. Charlie, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful, man. I'm being good to be here. Great, man. Thank you for joining us. And once again, thank you for introducing me to this cigar and this shop with Debbie and Jay. Hey, man, it was my pleasure. Good, good place to buy a stick in Alameda. And she has a wonderful selection. Oh yeah, and she has a couple of cigars here that you would only be able to get here. So I advise you to come down to Bon V in Alameda. Yes. All right, so today's cigar we will be reviewing and having a smoke and just enjoying is called Island Prince Maduro. This is from Kauai Cigar Company. This is a Mamona Dark. The size of the cigar is a five by three fourths 50 ring gauge Robusto. It comes wrapped in cellophane. The wrapper notes of this cigar is Nicaraguan Habana. The binder and filler are both Kauai. So, you guys ready to cut these bad boys and fire them up? Let's rock and roll. Let's All right, go. let's do it. All right, folks, while we enjoy our cigars we just fired up, we are drinking some port to go along with it. We are drinking Kopeke, 20 year age in a barrel, but it's been sitting, you say, a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Nice, sweet fruit aroma. Ooh, yes. I like that. I get. I get kind of a maple, light maple syrup mm. flavor in there. Mm. Some nice, rich fruit yes. immediately hit the tongue. Like a strawberry preserve. Ooh, straight on your palate after you take a good ass. Oh. Very nice. Ooh, that, yeah, that's, a, that's a great pairing we got right there. I like that. And this is a port you can pick up at Bon V. This retails for $75 if you come on down. Folks, now as we just fired up the cigar a few minutes ago, we've been sipping on our port. The first few puffs for me in this Hawaiian cigar here is I get some real rich sweetness, maybe from some fruit or some earthy sweetness. Very good, very mild, very ripe, very sweet. Then I get some earth, soil, floral, very good touch, not overpowering. No pepper whatsoever, in my opinion, firing this up. One of the smoothest cigars I have had to fire up and start. Because most cigars I fire it up, I get a touch of pepper, red pepper, black pepper. It starts, I don't want to say always harsh, but it starts with that kick of pepper. A lot of beginners do not like. Jake, how about yourself? What do you taste in the first few puffs of your cigar? First of all, great cigar. That, I'm just going to have to say that off, off the rip. And uh, getting nutty. Caramel, I, that same sweetness, so, so smooth. It's something about these Hawaiians, they're just all very smooth. Nice. Charlie, how about yourself, my brother? Well, first lead it up, it was just a nice, smooth draw. That was straight cut. And it was nothing hindering the, the smoke from me drawing it. It was just a nice, smooth um, draw and a good, um, I would say, not so smoky, but a uh, uh, more of a um, kind of a coffee type of uh, flavor to it. Nice. Cool. All right, we're going to continue on. All right, guys, so we're now well into the first third of the cigar. 
Some rich notes still remain from the first puffs, but we do get a slight change. But in the first third here, getting some sweet fruit. Real sweet, I'm not sure. Do you guys catch the notes of the fruit? It's just real sweet and it tastes like a fruit. Do you guys catch any of those notes? A little passion, a little bit of uh, me, a little nutty part of it, like a uh, macadamia. Macadamia, part. yes. Mm -hmm. Some macadamia nuts, a little nuttiness. Mm -hmm. How about yourself, Jake? Um, almost an almond. Almond, yeah. okay. That, um, that little nutty, the caramel is still mm -hmm. coming through. Okay. Sweetness, it's still very, very smooth. Get some smooth, rich earth, mm -hmm. some outdoor, fresh cut grass, some soil, yeah, some is. leaves. I'm getting a little bit of black tea in mine as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, smooth cigar so far. Very good. You don't retrohale much, do you? I don't. No. How about yourself, Charlie? No? Okay. So when I retrohaled a little bit, I got a little bit of zing of white pepper. Very smooth, very quickly dissipates, not strong like a black pepper. And then it was smooth, earthy. Uh, also got a touch of a little bit of baking spice. Did you guys get any of that on that second, uh, first third? Baking spice for sure. Okay. But the main kick was the nuttiness and the macadamia is what I was getting out of mine. Mm -hmm. all right. So, all right, guys, let's continue on. And it's holding the ash to me is really well. Mm -hmm. it's oh, yeah. Very, the ash is holding very well on this cigar. Keeping the burn going really smooth evenly, too. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, we are now in the second third of our cigars, which we also dip them in the port, and we'll get to that. But in the second third, some notes I am currently tasting are, I'm getting a little bit of sweet wood. I'm not picking up the wood, but it's woody, woodsy and sweet. How about yourself, Jake? Definitely, I can totally agree with the sweet wood. It's still very smooth throughout the entire cigar. Uh, the sweet wood is definitely starting to come out. Charlie, how about yourself? I got a little bit of sweet wood, still a little, little fruitness in it. Okay. Well. And then I'm, I'm getting a little bit of cream and cold coffee. Mm -hmm. Kind of blended. Not, not like a latte, but kind of like if you took black coffee and put a little bit of heavy cream in there. And I, I'm getting that. Not, not really sweet, but you get that little coffee note with a little bit of cream. Do you guys get any creaminess or any coffee notes in, in your second, third? Coffee notes I'm getting. You getting? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, now that you pointed out, it's very apparent. Yeah. Very smooth. And in the second, third retro hail, I'm getting a touch of leather. It's like I've said, it's kind of like I'm a kid in the outfield chewing on my baseball glove in the middle of a game. <laughs> you know, you're, you're not paying attention to the game, but you get that fresh rawhide leather off of your glove and you're just mesmerized because it's like, ah, what am I smelling? But you're attracted mm -hmm. to it. I'm also getting some first black pepper, not too strong, a mild black pepper, which kind of sits nicely on the palate, not overpowering, but you get that little bit of spice out of the black pepper in the second, third, and then I'm getting a little bit of salted almonds off of the retro hail. Not toasted, maybe some raw salted almonds, very good, crisp, refreshing in this second, third retro hail. And we also dipped our cigar during the second, third in the port. Sweet, tasty, Earthy. Jake, what'd you get? Uh, sweet. Sweet and delicious. It's, yeah, I, I'm gonna start doing this a lot more. <laughs> Very well. Charlie, how about yourself, my and man? What'd you get? Sweet and explosive. Boom. Bam. Nice, robust oh, flavor yeah. sits on the palate. And as I'm smoking the cigar, the cigar is so smooth, the flavor on your palate is not strong. It's nice, it's earthy, it's refreshing, it's tasty. What do you taste on your palate in between puffs? Um, yeah, uh, it's that sweetness. It's an everyday cigar. Like okay. I said, buy a box, have it Definitely. at the house. Definitely. Charlie? I got a little woody cherry. Woody cherry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So very smooth, very refreshing. This is one of the smoothest cigars I've had in quite some time. Like you said, Jake, this is box worthy. Yes. Now we're reaching the final third of the cigar. We're going to go ahead and remove the band here. We'll give you guys an up close shot here shortly. Final third, the cigar continues to be smooth, nutty, and sweet. In this final third, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness from honey graham crackers. I don't know if it's the Hawaiian honey because I love the Hawaiian macadamias with the Hawaiian honey on them. Mm -hmm. Very delicious when I get those from a friend who travels to Hawaii often and 
Unfortunately, I, I do keto, so I don't eat a lot of sweets, but when he brings me a couple of boxes of these, yeah, I kind of knock myself out of keto. <laughs> I can resist. So I'm getting a little honey graham cracker in mine. Mm. What do you taste in yours, Jake? That, yeah, that's very apparent. Uh, I taste that honey. That, the port, can't talk enough about the port. Very smooth. Definitely. And uh, very glad we dipped it again. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Charlie, how about yourself? What do you taste in that final well, third? It's definitely in it. A little bit of that and a little bit of uh, woody cherry. I'm getting. Woody cherry? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. In, in, in the final third as well, I'm getting a little bit of unsweetened raisin. Real mm. rich, nice chewy raisin without the sugar on it. Nice earthy. But then I'm getting a sweet kick of a little bit of caramel. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of raisin and caramel in the final third on mine. Jake, how about yourself? Yeah. Any other notes you're tasting? Um, yeah, going back to that, uh, that little bit of passion fruit. Okay. Um, that sweet and smooth all the way through. All right. And the last third. I am amazed how sweet and smooth this cigar is. Charlie, how about yourself? Any other notes you're catching? Just a smooth stick all the way through. To the third, the last third of the stick is just um, the notes and the, and the flavors are just coming out more explosive. Very well. And like I said, Debbie, I would put this up versus a lot of Cuban cigars, and I would definitely go after the Island Prince over a Cuban cigar. Not the bad mouth of Cuban cigars. I do enjoy them. But this here is so smooth. This is a all day, every day kind of stick. Stick. At what price range do we look for these Island Princes here at uh, Bon V? Here at Bon V, we have these at about fifteen ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine. That's an everyday price. A lot of folks sit around mm -hmm. ten to fifteen, seventeen dollars tops for an everyday stick. I'm definitely picking up a box of these soon. To have in my humidor at home. These are phenomenal. Charlie? I agree. And in my final third retro hell, I'm getting rich notes of earth, nice flavorful earth, a little fresh cut grass, kind of like out there mowing the lawn, real nice, real sweet, kind of like when you first cut your grass, you just like sitting there besides the allergies. Mm -hmm. You kind of enjoy that fresh cut grass, makes you feel like you're at the ballpark, you know, you're at a football game, baseball game, soccer game, you get that fresh cut grass. I'm also getting that macadamia nut coming back a little stronger in this retro hell, mm -hmm. real nutty, and a little smooth salted butter. Mm -hmm. Real smooth, what you would put on your toast, nice flavor, sitting well in the nostrils, doesn't burn, doesn't kick, not heavy, just a nice overall smooth taste. This is one of the first few cigars I've had that's smooth from beginning light up to well into this final third of the cigar. Do you have any final notes you'd like to add to the cigar before we get into overall rating? I, th I think you hit it all. Yeah, this is very smooth throughout. And uh, yeah, here at Bon V, uh, we're running a uh, buy three, get one free. So go wow. ahead and fill up your humidor. Great. Charlie, how about yourself? This is a smoke that I didn't have to relight. And the ash kept it going really well. And um, it's just a smooth smoke all the way through. They only had the light around the edges just a bit, but other than relighting it, didn't have to do that. All right, so we're finishing up our cigars. And we have our final overall review. I am going to give this great stick a review rating of 92. Very smooth, very enjoyable, very much an everyday cigar in my opinion. Like I said, I will be picking up a box of these. This is a perfect cigar in my opinion. Great nutty flavor, smooth, earthy, Sweet. Now, the sweetness is not infused. I can't stress this enough. The sweetness is natural. It is a natural sweet flavor. You're going to get mild notes, not that quick chocolate, vanilla, rum infused flavored cigars you can find, but this is a natural sweetness that's mellow on the palate, not overpowering, a nice natural sweetness kick on the tongue. Nuttiness, spice, smooth, solid flavors, very complex. Flavors didn't overpower one another. They meshed very nicely and smooth and evenly through the whole smoke of the cigar, which the draw was phenomenal. Didn't have to use a draw tool. The nicotine hit was not there. 
nice smooth flow. I don't even feel the nicotine like some cigars you get. You get that buzz. And you know if you get that buzz, have a soda or a piece of chocolate with you with that sugar to taper it off. But this is a very good cigar. I am happy. Smooth, sweet, light flowing, no heat, no nicotine, just a great overall cigar. Jay, what's your final overall rating and review of this Island Prince? This is one that I recommend almost to anybody that comes into the shop. I'm going to go one point above, I'm going to say 93. Ooh. This is, like you said, everyday cigar. Um, yeah, I, I have a box and uh, I will continue to get boxes. Sweet. Charlie, how about yourself? Good to the last note. <laughs> but you see, he's got his on his tongue, so you know it's yes. good when you bring out the tongues. Not every cigar deserves them, but this one does. Anything else on that, Charlie? Good to the last nut, and it's also smooth as we go. Good draw to the last. I'm telling you, it's, it's a really good smoke, and I will rate it as a 92 as well. And I want to thank Debbie and Jake at Von B for gifting me with a pocket ashtray. This is a very nice, has their name across it in the front. When you open it up, lay it down, you can put your cigar on it, and the ash goes right inside the can. Nice, thank you guys for the gift. Very much well appreciated. Like I said, you know my socials, you know where to find me. Jake, you wanna give any last information for the shop, Bon V? Absolutely, uh, Bon V here in Alameda, California. Uh, we are at 1419 Park Street. And uh, come all the way down the hallway, a little hidden gem back here. Come check us out. Do you guys have any social media you'd like to put out? Yeah, on uh, Instagram, come see us at uh, Von V Alameda. And uh, come stop by, see me, see Miss Debbie, and uh, get some good cigars. Yourself, Charlie, do you have any social media or anything you want to finalize on yours? Great customer service, uh, great place to come and find the rare cigar. And the hidden gem in the corner of Alameda, California. There it is, folks. Thank you for joining us on this special review from Von V Cigar and Wine Shop in Alameda. The information will be in the video this time. Please stop by. Tell them Smoke in the Bay sent you. Would you like to give anybody a discount or anything for coming yeah. in if they mention the video? <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All you guys for, for doing this for us, our shop here in Alameda. Welcome. And um, my career goes back to being a furniture salesperson and owner of the furniture store for 45 years, which was one thing that we enjoyed was pleasing people. And I can't tell you how interesting customers I have here and how much I love them all. Charlie here is one of my customers. Jake's here is one of my customers. <laughs> and uh, just spread the, spread the love, everybody. Thank you so much. Definitely. Big smoke in the bay. Thank you. Everybody? Enjoy what you're smoking. Stop by Bon V and grab some new smokes that are definitely to please. And we thank you very much for joining us on this episode. Happy smoke, player. Peace out. <gasps>